Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Regeneration TV. Trying to regenerate the youth in America, the world, and everything. We're doing something special today. We are actually fixing up our church, doing new planting. We're all working on a little something here. We have Mr. Mandohano over here with the Bobcat. He's actually leveling off the playground area so that we can put down some mulch for the kids, put back their swing set. And then this is just a co collaboration of all the youth and all the members in church. We have Medics, little classroom. What are you doing? I'm, no, no, I don't like <laughs> I'm filming the the classroom. It's the before. The before? Yeah. Alright. Definitely a before. <laughs> and why is on the table? <laughs> and then we have Mana Betty over here cleaning up the walls. Yes. Hi. Hi, you see. Pastor Elmer. Running some business numbers on his phone. I hope. Heck of business. Heck of business. <laughs> that man not cleaning off the tables. Brother, what are you doing? I'm setting up the chair so we can all clean them up. <laughs> hey, that's how we do it. Okay. And then we already did the back over here. We already graded and everything, ready for mulch. And all this planting area is gonna have beautiful plants flowers on it i'm definitely gonna keep you posted i'm gonna get to work help out a little bit and do my thing but i want you guys to join us and see what you can do at your church oh i gotta get to work now all right <laughs> Jess, what are you doing? <laughs> so everything is coming out good. All the plants are in, irrigation is almost done. Then Liz is doing nothing right there. Jesse over here enjoying life. Mari working the hardest out of the bunch. Jerson looking good. No, don't lie to him. Don't lie to him. Plants are almost ready to go. Let's go check the inside out. See what's popping. Oh, another busy man. Okay, like always. <laughs> this is the removal of the old kitchen because we have the new kitchen in here where Derek is installing some blinds. Hey. And then checking out the kids' room again. Progress, yep. Look, the floor is clean. The tables are so smudgy. Station, looking good. See if we work together. <laughs> we can make a, a church look better. All right, folks, can't believe we actually finished. Uh, we got all the mulch done. We got all the flowers in, and yeah, it's looking beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys right now. couldn't do it with all the help of the people that showed up uh, countless people a few of them are old heads but most of them young people right Liz yeah. are you still in the young group of course. okay once you're 30 I guess you're still young <laughs> all right let's ask Robert why is it important for the youth to help out the church when it's cleanup day 
because it's not about singing on seeing it on the weekends you gotta put some work in too just like you tithe you help out to give to the church uh, somebody's got to do it you know it's not free so yeah we we appreciate everybody who helped thank you Cost guys money. We're, <laughs> we're tired yeah a lot of tired but we got plenty of food some more some more youth over here let's go ask them we're over here with jesse tell them why is it important to us youth to help out the church when it's cleanup day uh to lighten the load off of the ones that do help yeah that's true that's true and plus it's good for the soul it's good for the soul right yeah, you start treasures in heaven exactly little by little i must be rich up there <laughs> <laughs> and last of all our pastor we want to ask you why is it important for the youth to help out at events like this for the church why is it important yeah um, I think it, it, it uh, tells the adults, it speaks to the adults that when they're gone, there's a generation coming behind them that's going to take over this place, that's going to fall in love and take care of it like they took care of it. So I think it's very important to yep. see that it takes a lot of work and it takes a village to maintain even something as small as this. It takes a lot of work. So it's really important for these people. It also inspires the adults to keep working. Yeah. You know, so that, yeah. All right, thank you. And of course, if it wasn't for our wonderful people with the food, La Rosa, thank you for help. Thank you, hermana. Para servirle, joven. Huh? Para servirle. Oh, para servirle. Yo de algo bíblico? No. <laughs> thank you to hermana Betty over there. Thank you for your help. Thank you to my George over there. My Mandujano with his new little toy. Wasn't it for him, we wouldn't be driving that thing. Thank you so much. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to like, share, and subscribe. In three, two, one, hit it. Other than that, thank you for watching. If you like our videos, go check out our other videos because they're better. But have a wonderful day.